Okay, uh, I'm leaving my hotel room. It is uh, about noon central time here in San Antonio. I'm going to head down to the Riverwalk for uh, my final live shot on Fox News Channel. And then it's off again to another spot. So this is the Riverwalk uh, right below my hotel, a great location. Got my suitcase and everything. So right after this uh, live report on Fox News, uh, I'm going to get in the Fox Weather Beast and head to the northwest into the high desert. Watch this. Okay, live shot done with Fox News. I got the sandbag that weighs down my little tripod uh, on my shoulder. You see uh, everything here. We're gonna head up uh, these stairs uh, to the Weather Beast and uh, Boogie. Let's go. About 70 miles outside of Valmarais State Park. That's where I'm headed uh, here in West Texas, uh, the Fox Weather Beast. Since I've left San Antonio, driven about 400 miles, the landscape has totally changed uh, into a high desert. And this uh, picnic area, I thought would have latrines or, you know what I'm saying. Uh, and it's all desert, it does not. So, uh, yeah, hi there, hi tree. Five hours later, and I am here at Balmeray State Park in the high deserts of West Texas. Uh, I'm a little bit under 200 miles from El Paso, which is my ultimate destination here. Uh, it is about uh, six o'clock uh, in central time still. I've driven about 2,000 miles thus far on this trip, leaving from Jacksonville, Florida last Thursday. Uh, so I'm getting close. I'm getting close to Santa Monica Pier, several stops still. But let's find out what's so special about this oasis in the high desert. So the water flows up from the San Solomon Springs system. It's currently 17 million gallons of water a day that comes out of the spring. Being the only water in a couple hundred miles is a great place to cool off in the summertime. So it's 1.2 acres, the pool itself. Um, the deepest part would be 25 feet. That's underneath our high dive. Um, and then it goes to about three to five foot on the shallow. A Texas style swimming pool, the biggest in the state. Does this surprise you that it's in Texas? Not me on El Paso. I just saw this historic chapel leaving the state park on this dusty road. Uh, I don't know if it's open, but uh, let's take a look and, and see. Oh, it's not, it is open. Whoa, okay. This is interesting. Look at this place. How unique, a taste of the West. Look at these benches and the door and people have lit candles here for prayers, obviously for family members or friends. And then you come outside and the desert, the high desert of West Texas. Incredible. Look at this, this tiny little church, a mission and the Fox Weather Beast. Okay, now we're really going to El Paso. I finally made it to El Paso. It is 8.30 mountain time. Start of the day in San Antonio. Well over 600 miles was the drive. And here's the thing about uh, El Paso. Uh, over 29 days, approaching 30 days of temperatures above 100 degrees. That's an all-time record. These folks have been enduring incredible, uh, scorching, oppressive heat for a month and there's no end in sight. I am going to explore this city and take a look at everything and then moving on to the west and starting the week off day five of cruising across America. A few days left of this incredible journey across the country. <music> 